Yeah, so you... I'm a little camera shy. Hey! Yeah, right. No, I am. <laughs> I am, I am. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, okay. I got you. Uh, we got you right in the middle. Good morning, you guys. Good afternoon, you guys. This is Coco. Um, I want to give y'all a quick inside tour of my... Uh, a 1997 Freightliner FLD 120 60 series engine. So I just want to give y'all a quick tour of the inside of my truck. Um, I do have an appointment October 11th to get all of the inside um, of the truck done, the floors, the dash, the doors, just everything. But for my memory, I would like to have a video image of before. Um, the before. Um, of my truck and so uh, it won't be looking like how it's looking right now in another month or so with that being said let's let's go inside um it's not perfect you know the floors is messed up the dash is messed up it's, it's really crazy but <laughs> but you know this is how I bought the truck in its original state so um just come on in come on in come on in <laughs> so well, I didn't in a previous video actually uh, start up the truck for you guys, but I just want to show y'all in the older trucks, in order to start it up, you have to actually uh, turn the key like that, and then you wait for it to go through, and then you just press the uh, engine start button like that. Oh, this. okay. truck um if you wanted to start it up um it's push to start i didn't even know they had push to start uh trucks back in the day but um this is the door as you can see this is how it looks at the moment you know and you this is very unique because look <laughs> <laughs> you, old, old school <laughs> very old school i'm sure y'all have not mm -hmm. seen this in a minute right um mm -hmm. but yeah here's the clutch Here's the clutch, brakes, and then the acceleration, the gas pedal. And as you can see, the floors is uh, it's it's very um, old and they're very original, and they definitely need to be pulled up uh, ASAP. So here's my steering wheel. Um, this is not the original steering wheel, by the way, but this also will be getting changed out. Here's the seat. This seat is not original. Obviously, I'm in a Freightliner, and this is a Mack seat. So I guess the other seat, they just got rid of it and stuff like that. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> um, if you look, if you look at the dash right here, the dash. Um, I changed out the vents. I changed out the vents. Um, I also changed this out as well, so the mouse is not original. Somebody else's mouse who had it. But I just want to show y'all the gauges, the air pressure gauges, the battery voltage, fuel, RPMs, oil, water, and the turbo. So this is what it looks like. My windshield is very small compared to the trucks that I've been in in the past. But yeah, this, this is the setup. Here's my CB radio. And here's some storage compartments where I keep like mask, lighter, and um, my work gloves. And then um, here's the other door over here. Um, it's very original, you guys. Um, here's the stick shift gear shifter. I do drive a 10 speed. All the trucks that I've ever owned has been a 10 speed. Um, and here's more storage all up here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Come on in. Come on in. Don't be scared. It's just me. <laughs> so, so yeah, just more storage space um, up here. Oh, sunroof. I have a sunroof. Um, I don't know if y'all ever seen that before in a truck. This is very unique. Mm -hmm. So, sunroof. And then when you don't want to have the sunroof going on because of the heat and stuff like that, you just go ahead and slide this back in and put that back. Easy. Very mm -hmm. easy. Um, 
what I love about this truck is the space. It is a condo. I came from a mid roof truck, and mm -hmm. then before that, I was in a day cab. So okay. I love how I could actually like, <laughs> you know, be able to move around a little <laughs> bit more compared mm -hmm. to before. But here is um some cabinet space where I hang up all my clothes right here. Mm -hmm. Here's my shower bag. I just placed my shower bag right here. You know, when you're in a truck, you just gotta right. make room for stuff, yeah, you know. Exactly. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And here's some more clothes I have here at the bottom. Um, yeah, just so you guys can see what it looks like. I did mm -hmm. take out the seat. Oh, I just noticed that. <laughs> in this truck, mm -hmm. um, I'll insert a picture of what the seat actually used to look like. You guys see, I have another cabinet and it has like this little, privacy shade thing going on I'm, I'm not sure I guess the people who had it before me <laughs> yeah. they you know maybe stuff was flying out so they went ahead and just put that up but I thought that was really cute um I did this morning get some waters and stuff so that's why this is actually uh sitting here some waters and some fruit okay. um for breakfast even though I think right now it's lunch time I'm not too <laughs> sure but <laughs> but okay so up here, I just want to show y'all, I have some bins, more clothes, 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 clothes. I love clothes. So clothes and blankets is actually mm. in here. That's my camera book bag for my camera equipment and stuff up there. Got some shoes and some blankets up there as well. Here's my toilet from Walmart. It was like $30. It's a foldable toilet, mm, okay, whatever. Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I don't know, I just have some more hygiene stuff. Um, clothes, underclothes, dirty laundry bag over here. Can y'all can y'all see that? My little setup. I have an air fryer. I have an right air here. fryer and microwave over there. So this is the setup. I have lights up here. And what I love about this truck is the black leather. So the black leather in the back and on the ceiling it is nice. It is very nice. I actually love it. And then it, it's down here as, as well, you guys. So on my bed. So this is how my setup um, actually is. So um, y'all see that? And you got a mirror. <laughs> yes, I have a mirror over there. I have a, I have a mirror right here, you guys. Um, and here's the black leather again. I'm going to get some more lights at it in the truck so it could be a, so bright like I love bright lights and then we have my deluxe refrigerator right here freezer refrigerator cost me around three hundred dollars at Sam's Club if you guys are interested um what do you have it plugged up to my uh, inverter? It, yeah to my okay. inverter which is mm -hmm. underneath my bed it's like three thousand okay okay three thousand watts or something mm -hmm. like that all right but but yeah I just wanted to give you guys that that tour my truck the inside of my truck this is obviously the before <laughs> um oh what i'm gonna do like i said in the previous video is i'm going to paint the outside of the truck black i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it this year mm. or next year but i already have my appointment set to get the inside done completely and the theme colors and the inside mm -hmm. is gonna be black and gray because gray okay. is my gray gray is uh oh gray. i got you, i got you still on here oh. gray, because okay. gray, gray is my favorite color. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. And as y'all can see, the colors is already kind of in here, mainly black. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. <laughs>